Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Roman and I'm a high-end beauty and fashion retoucher. I know it's been a long time without me uploading a video in English, but finally I am back with another great tutorial and as you read by the title, it's gonna be about the dodge and burn. I'm gonna be doing the dodge and burn technique and explaining all the things that I do in real time. I certainly know that there are not many videos uh, talking about the dodge and burn technique per se and the videos out there are like time lapses or I, I think they're not pretty specific enough so that's why I really wanted to create this video to show you guys my step-by-step -step process when it comes to the dodge and burn technique so I'm really excited for you guys to see this video but a quick note before we start I'm so so excited you guys to announce that my course my high-end beauty retouching course is out there for you guys to get your hand on I have been working on this course for a long time and it's pretty amazing because it covers everything everything that you need to know when it comes to beauty retouching we're gonna be working on texture dodge and burn dodge and burn on darker skin tones we're gonna be color grading and it's gonna be really amazing for you guys so i'm gonna leave as always the information down below so you can go after before and or after you watch this video to check that information out and i show every single step that i do when it comes to beauty retouching a lot of people ask me about my skin retouching color grading and so on and all those things you're gonna be able to find it in there also you're gonna be able to download images for free for you to practice because I know it's really difficult to find images good images out there uh, to practice beauty retouching so you will get a lot of images for free uh, in the course as well now that we've taken that out of the way I'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna start with the video right now all right guys so I'm gonna leave this for photo for you guys to download in the description box if you want to practice with me because I really know there are not a lot of good uh, photos to practice with when it comes to beauty retouching so what the first thing that I did here I took care of the texture as you can see uh, that's what you have to do first of all you have to take care of the texture the liquify and everything like that you need to do it in this layer and then once you're, you're done with that you can start then working on the dash and burn all right so I'm not going to show you how to set up every single layer in this video because I already have another video where I explain everything uh, in pretty detailed in, in there how to set everything up and why I use certain uh, layers and so on and the helper layers and all of that if you want to know about all of this go to that video first which, which I'm going to also link in the description down below um, because it doesn't really make sense for me to explain it again since I have another video I'm not gonna be doing the whole image because that's gonna take a long time but I really want you guys to see me working in pretty much uh, a, a lot of the parts in here so that you can know what I do what I normally do when it comes to the dodge and burn okay so uh, I'm going to grab my brush tool I'm gonna start with the opacity 7% I'm going to create another uh, helper layer in here I'm gonna tone it down a little bit like this and then I'm gonna start to work in I'm gonna press F for the full screen and I'm gonna start working on the dodge and burn here make sure you have a foreground color in white otherwise you're not gonna be able to see any changes whatsoever and uh, I'm gonna explain you while I'm doing the dodge and burn I'm gonna explain you all the things that I do and all the whys behind all of that um, because that those things that I do are really important as well not only the Dutch and Burn per se but also the things that I that I do and uh, and all of that I always like to start by doing the image as a zoom as zoomed out as possible otherwise if you go right away really zoomed in you're gonna lose track of the image and it's gonna start looking fake and too retouched which is not what we're looking for in order for us to get a a nice a natural result which that's the high end that's what the high end is all about you need to do it from the far first and one once you you get the image 
right from the far then you can start going closer to certain parts of the image with this i'm not saying that you cannot go really zoomed in you can indeed do that but always look at the image from the far see what you need to change and what you need to toggle and then go zoom in and then change that and try to do this over and over again throughout the whole dash and burn and that way you will get a really flawless result but at the same time pretty natural because what many people do they start working with the dash and burn all over without noticing uh, the bone structure the the models bone, bone structure so everything starts looking really flat again uh, I'm always saying that because that's what it is so always try to keep it as far as you can um, the idea of the dash and burn is to keep a lot of the texture we don't really want to get rid of that we ha we have taken care of the texture before so this is a really nice technique but if you go all the way zoomed in like a lot of people i have seen a lot of people doing this it would look like frequency separation to be honest and uh, that's that is not a look that we are looking for here i know there are a lot of people that work with frequency separation i don't i don't particularly like to use that technique uh, at all but i know there are a lot of people that use it um I find that the dodge and burn is less destructive. It's not destructive at all, to be honest. And uh, if you look at the magazines and what's being published right now in important magazines like Vogue, Italia, Marie Claire, Bazaar, Numero, and this kind of uh, magazines, you will see that the retouching is pretty minimal and pretty natural so um, that is what we are trying to to go for here so you can create as many helper layers as you want there is no right or wrong with this however you feel mo most co most comfortable with you can use that i just created another one in order for me to see the transitions a little bit better and i really wanted to make this video because it's actually easier for people to to learn how to do the dash and burn seeing another retoucher or another person uh, doing it i find it's way better that way and that that was the way i learned it by myself i used to watch a lot of time lapses i would record the screen and then with um with adobe premiere i would slow down the videos to see how they did the dash and burn and so on so that's a pretty cool technique right there that you can use it's a nice tip um it used to work for me and uh, again seeing another professional doing the dodge and burn you start understanding more and more what the dodge and burn is all about if you pay attention right now to the layers that i'm using why i'm using the dodge and why i'm using the burn you will start understanding better this technique because setting up the layers and all of that is pretty easy but understanding the technique per se and doing it right it takes a little bit of time and work and you need to practice a lot it doesn't really matter how much i explain you guys all of this and you see this video if you don't practice 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 you're not gonna make it to be quite honest so you gotta start practicing as much as you can
always have in mind the output of the photo as well because that's really that's important that's so important and key in order for you to know how much and how far you have to go with this because uh, if you're going to post this photo on Instagram only um, it doesn't really make much sense for you to make it super uh, detailed and super perfect if you're going to post the if you're going to post the photos on your website and for example this photo is going to your portfolio you need to do a better job because your portfolio on your website is what clients or potential clients are going to see and based on that they're going to decide if they want to work with you or not so it's actually pretty important for you to get your digital portfolio on your website as perfect as possible but again i don't really go that far when this is going to to be posted on instagram only uh, of course we as a retouchers if we see something that we don't like we're gonna fix it it doesn't really matter if it's minimal we're gonna fix that because uh, i mean we are used to that you know but uh, i'm always trying to make it as natural and and not as retouch as possible because that's what again the industry is looking for so i'm gonna do the before and after of what i've been doing here this is the before and the after you see i haven't even worked 20 minutes yet on this picture and it's looking way better you can use the dodge and burn for anything a lot of people forget that you can use the for even makeup for example this part like this you can use it for for makeup lips hair i mean the possibilities are endless And as you can see, I'm using these uh, helper layers a lot because this allows me to see the transitions way better. I know there are a lot of retouchers or photo even photographers that know how to retouch that they don't use any helper layers or they only use one helper layer. That is not the case for me. Um, I always like to customize these helper layers uh, as I as I'm retouching the photo because it's way easier for me to to toggle all those parts that I need to correct and also I'm going to uh, pull up the opacity a little bit more 9% yeah I think it's, it's looking good so also the opacity is something that can change a lot actually it, it should change a lot depending on the picture um, but if you feel you're not doing that much you have to use a higher number and if you feel the effect that where you're painting is too much it's too harsh you have to tone it down a little bit and these things you learn it by practicing you guys so practice I always say it makes perfect so you have to take your time and practice as much as I can every single day and the more you practice, the the better you will get. That's that's about it, you guys. It may sound so stupid and so lame and so obvious, but that's the reality right there. This is a before and after of what we have been doing here. It's looking great right there. So I'm gonna start working a little bit here on her chest because I want you guys to see how I get I take care of that. People forget to to work on models bodies and hands and stuff like that and it's really important that you don't forget that that is part of the image as well and you need to take care of that
okay you guys so this is a before and after of what i have been doing here this photo needs way more work than the one that i just did but uh, it just took me like 20 minutes to do this so imagine what you can do if you do the dash and burn for one hour so if you guys have any questions just let me know down there in the comment section make sure to share this video with somebody that you want to help as well if you find it helpful and also give this video a like because that's a free way that you can help me out and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can know when i'm posting new videos like this one thank you so much again guys for that support and i hope to see you around here on my youtube channel and on my high-end course so thank you so much again and i'll see you in the next video bye bye